So I want to talk to you about null testing, because uh, I know you also built your null testing machine or whatever you want to call it. Um, yep. And But I wonder, how can you do a proper null test in your DAW, let's say with plugins? How, how can you do that? Uh, that's real easy. That's actually the easiest mm. way to test. And that's in my Audio Myths uh, AES video on ah, cool. YouTube. Uh, uh, it shows, I have a bunch of them uh, uh, showing, uh, uh, for example, a lot of people think there's a sweet spot where, uh, uh, you know, where, conver where uh, equalizers sound best. Mm. And now some, some plugins have, have an analog feature where, you know, where if you overdrive it, you'll get, you know, like overdriving a tube or, a tube or something. Mm. Uh, but for things that don't have that feature, uh, a lot of people still think, well, if you, you know, you don't want to get any higher than minus 10 or the equalizer plugin will start to misbehave mm. or sound different. And that's not true. It's your ears that are changing Fletcher Munson. Mm -hmm. uh, but so I, I bust a number of those myths and show specifically exactly how to do it. You put, uh, if you're going to test a plugin, you take a wave file, stereo or mono or whatever, put it on one track, then put the exact same wave file on another track. And, but you flip the polarity. And uh, uh, most DAWs, I'm sure, have a polarity flip switch. And then you get silence. And if, uh, then you can put plugins in. Uh, so you can try two plugins against each other. <clears throat> so you, you don't even have to actually uh, turn the knobs on the plugin? It should. If well, well, it well, it depends on what kind of a plugin. Right, That's right. why I, you know, I would steer people to my, to my video because it shows mm -hmm. that I do it with equalizers. Uh, and if the plugin changes the volume, of course, you have to match the volumes mm -hmm. exactly. And I mean exactly like the 0.01 right. dB better. Yeah, because I did a similar test uh, recently um, to try to make my own null test in my DAW. And I used the Pro Tools stock EQ versus Slate's new Infinity EQ, I think it's called. And I just did the same amount of boost, same Q, same whatever. The, the settings were the same. And then I flipped this, the, the face of one of the tracks and it was silence. So I guess it was no difference at all. You know? Well, okay, yeah, if you got silence. Null testing different brands of equalizers mm. uh, can be tough. There's an article that's, uh, that I post a link to often mm -hmm. uh, where a fellow proved that pretty much every digital equalizer other than adding you know, the analog feature they usually you can switch that right. on or off if you turn that off uh they were he was able to know them all i mean right. you know, from the you know from the cheapest freeware vsts to you know really expensive ones but the problem he, he wasn't you were lucky if you just put in the exact same frequency same cue same amount of booster cut mm -hmm. if you got absolute silence that then it was probably the same circuit, you know, in the same yeah. <laughs> computer code. And they are all the same. You know, there's one or two algorithms that are in college textbooks. When you take a DSP course at a you know, real college, mm -hmm. here's how you do it. And everybody's equalizer uses that same code. I mean, they might add, you know, the interface is different and the, the metering and stuff and the colors and they try to make it look sharp and, or they'll have an, a really nice display or they'll have the waveform dancing around, you know, yeah. but the actual underlying code is the same. But sometimes the, the problem with the Q is, Q is defined as the minus three dB point. So if you have like a a, a, a low pass filter, or I'm drawing a high pass, I guess from your perspective, yeah, yeah. <laughs> three dB down is the that's the cutoff frequency. Uh, but with a uh, with a peaking filter where you have you know a boost or a cut, mm -hmm. you could have only two dB a boost. So there is no three dB point. Uh, so there are some differences in how that's defined. The right. fellow who did this article, uh, and if you want, when we get done, I can email you all the links to these yeah, things. Yeah, please do that. Sound on sound article about the microphone preamps mm -hmm. and uh, the uh, digital one by Monty Montgomery. Mm -hmm. And this equal all equalizers are the same article. Yeah, please uh, do. It's it's a good article because he explains that he had to uh, adjust the cue a little bit. He had to turn off all the analog kind of stuff, anything that would add distortion, uh, and uh, or, or special character things. But then, but by adjusting, you know, or and if one was three dB boost, he might have to make the other one two and a half or whatever. But uh, by tweaking them, he was able to get everything to null all the different ones, right. or so far down that nobody could hear a difference.